Understand the family matter, no ifs, ands, or buts Not picture perfect in them pictures, but it's really us And we embrace all the love, y'all be showing trust Through the ups and downs, but it's good in front of you, know what? Keeping it real from the beginning, we've been authentic Even though baby getting big, still that is princess LJ got in the college just like I predicted Through thick and thin, it was shin, that's why she the missus And that's the man of the house, I just play my role So wipe your feet before you step foot through them doors Cause this is not your typical television show It's shin and family matters, not the wins lows, what? Y'all ain't gonna believe this, bro. I could've died last night. Bro. <sighs> Let's just say I almost lost all the film to our first two days on the cruise, bro. I don't know how the fuck, but the shit almost occurred, bro. Like, I was editing, like I said I was doing, and everything just wiped out. Like, everything went wrong. The boat started rocking. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, right? Like, bro, the first two days, nothing shook. You feel me? Everything went smooth. Now, all of a sudden, there's a bumpy ride, bitch. Like, it's speed bumps in the goddamn sea. <laughs> you feel me? Because we rocking. And then, I end up losing the footage some kind of way. But, guess who saved the day? My motherfucking wife. All the time. She woke up out of fucking sleep. It saved the fucking day, dog. She saved me. She saved y'all. Because I was down there about to be in tears, bro. Like, a tear was, like, literally sitting on the lip of my eye, bro. Like, that shit was about to fall, bro. If I had a bleak, bro. I done did this. That bitch with a duck. But, Shan woke up. And she saved the fucking day. I don't know how the fuck she did it. But, bro, we lost all the footage. Like, it just disappeared, like, while I was in. She started it next. She made me try to believe that I the one fucking did it. When I know I didn't press shit, I was doing what I do normally. You feel what I'm saying? Working the hand like this. You feel me? Like a magician. You feel me? But she had like, oh, you, you sure you in? And you know what somebody keeps saying some shit like that? They got a feeling that you fucked up, but you don't want to admit it. And I know she felt like that, but didn't say it, but she kept, like, itching towards. That's what she wanted to say, so it was pissing me off. Because I know what you want to say. I know what you're thinking, bro. Pretty much. I know what you're thinking. But you're not saying it, so it's really pissing me off because you're not saying it. I know you're beating around the bush. Like, come from behind the bush, bro, say what you want to say. Long story short, she woke up and worked her fingers, dog, too. And that bitch came back up. And I'm like, how the fuck did you do that, bro? Because the whole shit was wiped out in my eye movies. Like, everything was gone. Like, even the old shit. And I had made space, so don't say, oh, maybe it was too space and it needed to be deleted. Yeah, I had already did that. Cause I already know we got a lot of fucking footage. And then I ended up deleting footage off the SD card because I needed room on that. That's how much space we had no used up in those two days. Bro, <laughs> welcome to the third day, bro. By the grace of God and the grace of Shan. Cause y'all would have been fucked. <laughs> Cause bro, I was about to give up. I was throwing in the towel. But anyway, this is day three, man. Let's get it. We got our towels. Daddy's gonna hold it for his baby. So now we gotta wait. Alrighty, got the Liberty family. Uh, let's continue on with our debarkation oh process. God. We've now got a new water shuttle available for you on deck zero forward. So if you're ready to disembark from the vessel and make the most of your day in Princess Case, and if you have water shuttle pass numbers 23 and 24, you can head to the forward end okay. of the ship. So we are going to Princess K Island. Um, we're going to go to deck nine to get ice cream, and then we're going to head over to the island. Right, MJ? Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so that's where we're about to go. We're gonna go to deck nine and we'll see y'all guys at in Princess Cake. Bye.
we just purchased this cabana at We're Princess right K Island. You see our ship from here. Nice, pretty water, man. That's crazy. Three blues or greenish blue. That's crazy. Boy, Florida boy, water is not this clean, boy. What's the what's the difference? This is awesome. In love with our cabana, like we are, like just chilling. I the, I, I gave my parents. The Actually, idea. you did, and I was gonna do it anyway. I was waiting on Daddy to give the okay. Thank you very much. Because you know it's so freaking hot. I vowed not to be in this heat today. We get to put our bag in here when nobody can come in here. We get to go get our food and eat, not in the sun, but in the shade. In peace. And we get to eat in peace. So yeah, this is what we're doing today until about three o'clock. He, he going to sleep. We already know what he for to do. Woo. <laughs> you need this boy. You need this break. This is like, the, this is the life. I like Princess Case better than Bahamas. Yeah. It's peaceful and less people. It's a private island. It's just for us. Yeah. At this point. It's, it's wonderful. So after this day, we'll be on the sea all day, headed back home. You and look what I brought from Florida. Bahamas Princess King oh. got these over here. <laughs> and I had to feel like I'm at home still. Look at that. Motherfucking like airheads. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm loaded, man. All I'm missing is a Lunchable, yeah. boy. You ain't never lie. God damn, a Lunchable would have been good right now. Yeah, it would have been, but we get we right behind lunch. Yep, got more candy. Oh, I couldn't eat that last night. I was drunk as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was so drunk last night. Yes, she was. Bodice was fucking me up on every level. First of all, I was so calm. I wanted to say that he fucked up last night. I wanted to go the fuck off, but you know, I was so drunk, I was calm. <laughs> I could have slapped the shit out of her and seen fucking know what the fuck nope. going on. I just said, girl, you hit the wall last night. Right. You don't remember? I you know you she always running into shit. And then so he went and let me get the computer, and I'm like, let me just get the computer. Let me see. Just relax. Calm down. I kept telling him, calm down. Got it. Let me see. Bam. This nigga was about to throw up, y'all. I was right, gonna stop it. blogging, boy, forever, boy. I was done. He was about to break the MacBook Pro. I was what? And I ain't got no Apple Care. Bruh. I was done. I was done blogging, bruh. I thought I lost everything, boy. My stomach was in my ass, boy. That's how sick I was, boy, when everything just vanished off the fucking screen, bro. Like, it's like it was deleted. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be the last of y'all see a Shannon Family Matters, boy. We're damn sure finna go right up under a rock. <laughs> I was done vlogging, boy. But, by the grace of God, like I said, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Last day on I Islands. It's relax time today, you guys. So all we're doing today is just relaxing before we head back home, Why back to home? reality. My baby. In which I can't wait to get back to reality because I got shit to do. She ain't got shit to do with her bank account. I got shit to do with my bank account because we can't check shit, bro. Nope, so a biscuit just be goddamn right now. running our shit up, but we well, can't do all, shit about it. I'm I, talking. That's you still rude. drunk? No. No, that's rude. That. That's rude. You. That means you stop no, that talking. I mean, you still got a hangover or something because no, you're talking you out of turn. No, that means you stop talking when I start talking. No, man. I'm in the middle of a goddamn sentence. I don't care. That's a run on sentence if I <laughs> goddamn I don't, don't care. end it with a. All right, here she, here she go, y'all. That's because MJ rude, too. Where you think she get it yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was sitting in the in the cabin. And then we allow we allowed we get alerts, but we can't. Respond. So I say your account is negative, right? So mind you, I got several accounts. Yeah, that I don't know about. <laughs> and this one particular account is my bill account, where all my bills come out. And before I left, I could have sworn I remember making sure everything was in there. But you know what? I forgot one bill was gonna come through. But I get paid on the Friday, so you know. You should just have your shit automatically transfer money over because you know I, I can't know. do that. I don't do that because I put the money in the other bank. Yeah. <laughs> so now I can't transfer and we stuck in an island with no service with an overdraft bill account. But they waived my overdraft fee, which is great. I saw it says overdraft fee waived. That's why I lock all my motherfucking cards. Why every time I use my shit, I lock my card. No, right I think up. it's just a bill. I don't think nobody used my card. 
it's just been a week without no reception, no internet, no not being connected to the outside world. It's crazy. It's very crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. So I can't imagine how people do it anymore. Like, you used to be able to live like this. Like, you didn't know your bank account unless uh -huh. you went to a bank. Like, we didn't have cell phones, internet to check anything. Yeah, I don't remember them days. I what? did. With my mom, you used to have to go directly to the bank to see what's in your bank account and why. Or else you kept the checkbook, what you spent. So that was the only way to keep it back then. But now it's like you can check and I'm like, oh, shit. I can't even go. But here go about this last night. Speaking of which, I'm going to jump off the subject of, but it, it relates to it. Go buy internet real quick so I can fix it and see what a nigga. I'm not paying $30 for some motherfucking internet for a couple hours to fix but why you lost the film. Nah, uh, fuck that. He was going crazy, y'all. Uh. Look, this is how you want to do. Sit at the beach. Finally, he at the beach. She don't like the beach. My mama ain't got no choice out here. We got him at the beach, y'all, and I'm finna eat. As soon as they set up this motherfucking buffet, y'all already know what I'm finna do. Eat. I'm scared to check my motherfucking bank. I hope you, I know you are. That water clear as shit. You see that vibe? And why your daughter all the way on the other side when we pop the tent right here? She over there. If she wanted to be over there, she should. we should have went over there. Anyway, my daughter missing. I gotta go find her. I think they're about to do a... Funeral ceremony. Putting the fish dead by the ashes in the damn water. Baby, you finna be swimming with beds right now. Huh? You fucking dumb. I hate you, but this bitch said she finna be swimming with the spirits. Oh my god, bro. She really finna dump the shurn. What do you call the shurn? It's an urn. Oh shit. Yeah, what the fuck is a shurn? <laughs> what the fuck is a shurn? <laughs> 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 but oh, I really can't see and it's too bright oh, for me to shit, see like my eyes bad. hurting. Oh my god. This bitch said a shurn. What the fuck is a shurn? But you don't show her, don't show it. Move your fucking feet. At, don't show her that you recording. Oh my god. She really couldn't do it. What the fuck is she doing? We ain't come over here to do that. She had this shit planned, didn't she? Yes, she did. I'm gonna take this body and I'm gonna dump it in over there, overseas. They must have always came to the Bahamas on a cruise. To dump people's bodies? No, so whoever that is in there must have always came to the Bahamas. Oh, so they want to just... Be dumped in Bahama water. Or he was a... But why shouldn't you just do it off the side of the boat while the yeah, boat was moving? Yeah, bro. She better not. Or maybe she's selling something. Yeah, souls. You fucking know. Maybe we should have been on the other side because they do sand building caps. Sam, maybe we should be quiet. I want to see what this lady about to do real quick because, boy, I'm going to go tell. What you going to tell? They watch up, though. It's down to $10. Yeah. I have to tell me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Way to get pictures. Man, this hoe's trying to get views. Yes, what she's she false is. She's advertising. Yeah, she's trying to get the, the photogenic background. Lying ass. I'm telling. I'm she's standing at your line. You shit say from the Bahamas, bitch. You cruised over here just to take falsified pictures, man, and post them. I'm talking about they from the islands. <laughs> How long do you think before this side gets congested? Soon. Look at her. You oh, heard her? I you told you. Oh. Exactly. That's good for comfort line. God don't like that. <laughs> Blew your hat right off your head. You heard her, she said, you go on Instagram uh -huh. and you post it. Yeah, boy. She doing it for likes, y'all. She false advertising her products. We know what it is. Now she ain't releasing no dead bodies in the water. Okay, y'all, I gave in. I was about to get in this piss ass. Oh, hell no. Daddy. Man, that's cold, man. So Baby, you lied to us. You lied to me. And you said, man, this shit cold, man. Oh, hell no, nah, man. Boy, this shit cold. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, I renege. I'm not getting in. I'm dead ass, boy. Nah, boy, that was a cold, boy. I ain't doing it. I'm straight, y'all. We'll see y'all back on the boat. So we're back on the shuttle boat, about to go back to the ship and enjoy the rest of this relaxing cruise before it ends tomorrow. 
So we'll see y'all tonight. All right. Guys, we're headed back home. Like mother, like daughter. Well, if we want to protect our stuff, the door. All right, guys, we are on our way to the Pandora shop because they're having like a little see the Pandora charm. So let's go see what they do. We have all of those things, and they over here. Um, we have our birthstones, we have our flowers, some dream catches, and then just some um, stuffers. And our last one, this is all of our family stuff that we have. So we have our family trees, yes, tree of life. We have some moms, some granddaughters, daughters, and then we have some pets as well, or best friends things like that and over on this side we have all of our rose gold and we have our Disney yeah but definitely the cruise ship is the most popular one yeah it is the most popular one because I just got one for Bahamas so I was trying to add to that one okay which one did you get the one with the flag on So we are here for all the festivities and what's happening. We're doing deal on deal. We're watching people lose their money or run some money. <laughs> we're not participating because Vadas don't want to. Because he just don't want to. We never want to participate in nothing. Just relax. Max and then relax. So here's deal on deal. So, <laughs> Sam has elected to play the game. I elected. You oh, elected. She win. You win. Because if she don't win, we're going to fuck up. Fuck <laughs> you up. You better hope get, that you win. She don't get one of these. They better, he better hope get, he win because he made me go spend $50 no, on tickets. If she don't win, we're going to get her a fucking knuckle sandwich. Lies. With extra salami. He want to sit in the room and I'm like, let's go do stuff on this boat. We spent all this money on this boat. We got to go do stuff. Look, all this. Oh, I want it. you on the So as you can see, a lot of people is in here trying to win up to $5,000 people. So pray for us and pray that we get our money back. <laughs> this will be, right, be double in compared hey, to this hey, one right in my bank. Because we ain't got them taxes yet. Right. And we ain't get them yams yet. So we <laughs> real. If she ain't no win, she gonna get a knuckle fucking sandwich. No, I'm not. You not are. the one she love to eat, you hear me? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let y'all see what the fuck going on. Goodness, we are a packed house and welcome one and all inside the Venetian Palace for Deal or No Deal, the game show. It's me, Adam, your cruise director, and I want to find out right now who is ready to win big tonight? Oh my goodness, a lot of lucky people here in the room. Now, who has seen the TV show before? Oh, oh wow, a lot of you. We got big fans in the room. Well, we do it just like the TV show. There are lots of opportunities for you to win a lot of money. Somebody could be winning $5,000! Plus many other amazing prizes. However, very shortly, one of you is gonna be randomly selected to come up on stage to play a deal or no deal, the game show. So let me ask you right now, who wants to play tonight? 
you want to win big tonight. I want you to win big tonight. We all want to win big tonight. However, there is somebody on board who does not want you to win big. Who am I talking about, everybody? The banker. Although he is extremely wealthy, he is dirt cheap, everybody. So, Carnival Liberty, let's meet the banker. multi-million dollar mansion this morning, got into his Aston Martin and drove over to his private jet. He boarded the plane with a briefcase up, filled with cash, flew on over, went on his helicopter to his private yacht, which boarded the ship today in Princess Cage. Who believes any of that story? You would got a book punch, yes indeed. But no, he is in this very room, right here, right now. Everybody say, ooh. Where could he be? Now, at the bottom of your deal or no deal cards, you're going to lift up that large flap. It's going to reveal a serial number. Now, a random serial number is about to be selected up on their screen. If we show your serial number followed by your name, let yourselves be known. The serial number is 1075628. Harris! Paris, so where are you, Paris? Where is Paris? Make some noise for Paris! <laughs> Paris, you look absolutely thrilled to be here, darling. I'll make it. All the way from Oregon, hey! Oh, very nice. Now, let me ask you right now, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> She's got to be the most excited player we've ever had, everybody. Oh, my goodness. You're going to be opening. Five briefcases, any round of five briefcases, that is not yours, okay? So, which briefcase are you going to open first? Which one would you like to open first, everybody? Come on, shout it out. Which one are you going to open, Paris? Number 12, you say? All right, so let's lock it and open. Number 12. still got the same reaction she had when she came up on stage, right? She is playing it cool right now. Okay, thousand dollars is gone. All right, what is the next number you're going to be? Eight. Number eight, you say? All right, so let's log in over in case number eight. Yeah, $150, okay, so $150 is gone. Now, those of you who are playing on your deal or no deal cards, all right? I want you to open, if you haven't done so already, open case number 12 and open case number eight. Every briefcase that gets opened, you're gonna open it up on your deal or no deal cards, okay? Now, if you've opened case number 12 and it has revealed $1,000, that means you have got one match. Now, just to clarify, that doesn't mean you've won $1,000, however, the more matches you get, the more prizes you are going to win throughout the games, okay? On the inside, she's screaming right now. She's like, I just want to win big, but let's see what the back is going to be. $81. Ooh. Make sure your are out. Right. Lift open that glass case for me, Parasite. Okay, $81 has been offered to you. If you want to take that money, hit deal. That money is all yours. If you say no deal, the next round, you're opening three more briefcases. Oh, there's Paris. Is it a deal or no deal? No deal. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, Paris. Firstly, let's see how all of you are doing. Oh, look at that, everybody. That is more like it. So 84 of you are on your way with one match. Oh, Paris, you should have done your happy dance, solid. $59 has been offered to you. Now, let's have a look right now, okay? Still got quite a few low ones to eliminate over here. Still got $250 to the play, all right? Still a good amount of money. However, if you carry on playing, if you say no deal, lift open the glass case for me, darling. $59 to drop to you. If you want to take that money, hit deal. That money is all yours. If you say no deal, 
Only three more briefcases. Tricky situation to be in, but Paris, it's your call. $59. Is it a deal or no deal? Oh, no hesitation from her there. She knows how to make good decisions, everybody. One of them has 50 cents. One of them has $100. You have an opportunity right now to either sit with number four or swap to case number 15. Ooh. So let's ask the audience, what should she do? Should she keep or swap? Keep or swap? It's your call, Harris. Number four, number 15. What are you going to do? You're going to keep number four. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Stick with you guys. Sing. All right. If you win $100, we've got to see some excitement. This is a big moment, all right? You've got all the love and support of everyone here in the audience as well, all right? This is a big moment. This is your moment, Paris, okay? So here we go. I wish you all the best, darling. I really want you to win that $100. What is behind case number 15? Case number four, you had all along and you were walking away with a life-changing 50 cents, everybody! Harris, <laughs> I'll tell you something, you are a player I don't think we've ever had before, darling. I'll take it. So she has remained so calm throughout this, but it's not over yet. Let's go back to the prize board right now. Let's see. The final results, everybody. Wow, look how many winners we've had. Yes. Who? Who could have won $300? Please give it up for Barbara! Sorry. But please give it up for our other big winner, everybody. Paris is walking away with 50 cents, everybody! Like to, how you feeling, Paris? How you feeling? Yeah, okay, give Paris a big round of applause, everybody. We have never, we have never had a team player like her before. Okay, but well, there we go. Let's get ready for round two right now. Who wants to play deal or no deal? All right, let's meet our second contestant. Go Tabitha, it's your birthday. Go Tabitha, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Come on, birthday girl! Oh, he is loving you. All right, you got a good offer? Let's see it. All right, he's got a good one for you, darling. Ah, boy. He's having a think. Oh, boy, this has got to be good. Come on, the next offer is... No deal! No! You got that now, boy. Interesting decision. Lift open the glass case for me. Lift open the glass case. $360 to drop to you. If you say deal, that money is yours. If you say no deal, you're opening two more briefcases. One dollar, five dollars, three hundred and fifty, four hundred and one thousand dollars is still at stake. $316. Oh. It's your birthday, darling. It is your decision. It is your Not decision. Oh, no Let's go back to uh, the briefcases right now because you have got to make a very important decision. Two big decisions, okay? Two briefcases left to open. Let's get rid of that $1 and $5. Tell me that. What is the next number going to be? <laughs> okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. I know. I know. But we're here to help you, alright? We want you to win big. Oh my God. Number 11. Number 11, okay. The general consensus was saying 11. I hope it's good for you. Come on. What is behind case number 11? One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Okay. 350 is gone. That's okay. That's okay. 
<laughs> we still got four hundred one thousand dollars. One more case. Come on, Gabatha. What is it going to be? Fifteen. 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 Okay. Here we go, everybody. One in five. What is my number fifteen? You might as well just give her the money now. You might as well just give her the money now. Period. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, give us your best offer. Oh, this has got to be good now. Oh, Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is a spectacular game. The banker's offer is... Let's open the case. Oh my god, $420. Alright, got one done. $400 and $1,000 still at play. If you say, if you say deal, that money is all yours. It's such a mess. It's your call. It's your call. Have your moment. This is you. You're in your zone right now. What are you going to pick, Tabitha? We have 16 <laughs> You and I need to go for a drink after this. Oh my goodness, my child. 16 or 19? Which one? Which one? Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Oh my god. Tabitha, it's decision time. Which one has one dollar in it? 16 or 19? Go with 19. We have got this. We have got this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lock it up in case number 19. to swap to number 16.
won. Keep it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you already won. You already won. won. <laughs> you are a winner, baby. You are a winner. But it's your goal. Three or sixteen. You got it. Go with your go with your gut. Go with your gut instinct. Okay, let me think. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Oh, yeah. Keep it. Three was your pick from the beginning. Stay I'm with it, baby. Don't worry. You're gonna keep it. Yeah. Good for you, my lovely. Oh my God. Oh my God. No matter what happens, you're winning a lot of money. You're today. already and I'm so I'm really proud of you. Really, really proud. You've done amazing. Thank you so much. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Case number 16. Yeah. You, yeah. you, yeah. you yeah. made history! We are going to post this online because you are the big winner over here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Big smile, big smile for my job with that. Yeah. Happy birthday, my lover, my lovey. I am so, so proud of you. Now, let's see one last time the prize. Well, let's see the final results, everybody. Let's see the final result. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here she is. Here she is. All right. Still Linda with $300 in the lead. Give them all a big round of applause, everybody. Oh my gosh. But once again, I can't believe it. As you saw, we just had an amazing moment. Someone on our cruise won a thousand. She went with case three at the beginning as her case, in which is our lucky number, because y'all know LJ always been number three. We always go number three no matter what the odds is. We always do number three, in which that's an odd number, but we go with number three and because of Jordan live for three months. So we always pick three for that reason. We told her to pick three as her first case, as her winning case. She picked that and guess what? That was a thousand dollars as y'all saw, bro. That was crazy. We just so happy for her. It was her birthday, her 56th birthday. And not only that, somebody on our cruise actually won. You feel me? That's so the first time. that's the first time as y'all heard someone ever winning on the cruise, bro. So that was a big blessing for her. I'm happy for her and her family. They was up front cheering her on. That was awesome, bro. That was awesome shit. And we won. So yeah. I ain't mad because we won the first game. We ain't win as much as she did, but we won. You feel me? We played for free pretty much because we won our money back. So right. we all good with that. But we about to go to dinner. Camera about to die. So we're going to see y'all bright and early in the morning for that green eggs and ham breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, family. Good morning. This is our last day on the boat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the festivities we brought to y'all, we enjoyed it for our first time. Next go round, gonna be with LJ. Can't wait for that. Yes. We're over the fears, everything. But like I said, this is the last day, so we're gonna enjoy everything on the boat. We're done getting off. We headed home now. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the day. <sighs> Let's go eat them green eggs and ham that I promised you guys. <laughs> Oh, great thing, what a thing too. Okay, <laughs> I thought I saw a line when you passed me by. The reason why I shine, you're the reason why.
Tried a game of golf. She ended up beating my ass before it started raining. She made a hole and went on all. So we're about to go get baby because it's about to rain. Y'all pray for us on this damn rest of the fucking sailing. Because yeah, shit about to get real. Because it's about to storm. And we know we're near home right now. She ain't came from the gate. Alright, so we're about to go grab baby. Yo, 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 what up, son? This is our last day, son. MJ in the um in the show tonight, son. What you think about that, honey? She better do her thing. So she's in the show tonight. She's in the final show at seven o'clock tonight. Well, it, it starts at seven thirty, but you know we get there thirty minutes early to get a good seat for MJ. She said we, we could sit in the reserved, so it'll be it'll section off reserved in the front for us because MJ's a part of it. And then we're gonna do that, and then MJ's gonna go to aftercare, and then me and Daddy's gonna hang out somewhere. I'm so excited. This is our last day. We just tipped Madi um, his tip for the day. Oh, uh, his name's not Maid. His <laughs> name's Madi. We tipped Madi his uh, gratuity today for helping us for the last four days. And that was excellent. I'm so excited to get back home. Me and Bodice have a bunch of notifications that come through our phone. We can't even see them. Um, we've been shut off from the world for five days. So that is crazy. Four days. Four days, which is insane. My account overdrafts. Like, I have to figure out what the hell happened. So, yeah. We spent too much damn money. That's what happened. <laughs> but, oh, we ain't put the money over And I'm not it's home to transfer. Yeah, I tried to say right. I'm not home to nah, transfer man. the money. So, like. So, anywho. Um, but I do get paid tomorrow. So, in the morning, that will be covered. So, it doesn't even matter. Um, then I'm trying to rest money. Friday. I can't you have money from your own bank. Shut up. I, I re, I'm trying to rest on Friday and Saturday, but then Vitus tells me we got a damn party on Saturday. I'm like, what? And then the party is far. It's like two out, two, almost three hours away. Like I'm fucking sick. I'm about to let him and Trop do it by himself. Trop uh -huh. cannot die. Why? Trop cannot die. Nah, boy. Nah. You ain't hopping that shit. I'm about to not. I got to take care of MJ. Nah, boy. MJ gonna be all right. Uh, she got him in there. We gotta get exactly. up at we gotta get up at six a.m. and get the fuck out of here. We're gonna be exhausted. Molly made this for us before we leave. Yes. And he also gave us a thank you card. Look My at the God. eyes. You get your baby. That's Miles. Mr. Miles. Oh, that you. <laughs> so, we're gonna go to the club tonight. What? Girl, we gotta get up bright and early. Mm -hmm. We're gonna the club. I'm going um, to the pool. We gotta get off this shit by eight thirty a.m. Nah, boy. Anyhow, so yeah, well, I have tacos um, for my lunch and a chocolate cake. Daddy got Good. burger from Guy's Burger. MJ, how's your burger this taste? Is steak burger. Oh, y'all didn't get the nasty fries today? No. no, it looks like fries from yesterday. Right, the fries that they had on the first day was fire, but I know y'all didn't feel like going to the sandwich shop and getting fries. So the boat is shaking right now, so oh, we're about yeah, to eat and relax. And we'll see y'all at the show. We'll see y'all at the show. Oh. 
welcome inside of the Venetian Palace for showtime. Now, first things first, everybody. Did you have a lovely cruise? Oh my god, are you ready to go home tomorrow? Should we just stay on for another week? Sounds good to me, doesn't it? Well, folks, for those who don't know, it is me, Adam, your cruise director, and it has been an honor to have all of you here on board. Even though it's been a four-day cruise, we have managed to squeeze in so, so much. We started the cruise off with our big epic sailaway party up on the leader deck. Who came to the sailaway party? Oh, my party people are here. We party, we say goodbye to Canaveral, and we were on our way to the Bahamas. Now, let me find out right now whose favorite port was NASA this cruise. Who loved NASA? Oh, big fans of NASA. Whose favorite port was Princess Kay's? Traveled to two of the most beautiful destinations in the world. We had some wonderful times, and of course, we celebrated Valentine's Day this cruise as well. Who's here with the loved one this cruise? Oh. Well, we got a lovely section of the show tonight where we're going to be joined by our playlist performers singing all songs all about love. We're paying tribute to you and all of your loved ones during this Valentine's Day cruise. But of course, we did so many great things and had some huge moments this cruise. Who saw Deal or No Deal yesterday? Oh my goodness, our lovely Tabitha, who was Carnival Liberty's first ever $1,000 winner! She did it. She opened the case, walked away with $1,000. Was epic. I mean, and I want to make sure you are ready. So we're going to start with this section over here first. You've got to make a lot of noise. Here we go. One, two, three. This section. Oh, So we're feeling the high energy. And last, and most certainly not least, everybody. The United States of America! Oh, they're big fans of that one, big fans of that one. Now, folks, these are just a handful of all the different countries that work here on board. We are so proud of where we come from. We're proud of the diversity that we have, and how we embrace culture from everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. We are all here as one, and we couldn't be more proud to share this wonderful voyage with you right now. And we want you to be a part of this moment, folks, because we want to proudly wave these flags from all over the world. We're going to invite our junior cruisers from Camp Ocean to come on up for another very special performance today.
far from over. We're about to get started with my 80s music trivia party happening outside in the Flower Lobby. And don't forget, our adults only comedy showcase starting 9.30 right here in the Venetian Palace. Have a wonderful last night on board, folks. I'll see you outside very shortly. Cheerio! Maybe you did. Awesome. Hey, Joe. Did you enjoy the food around the ship? Yes! Thank you. I would like to introduce you a very important gentleman here. He's leading the team of 147 kitchen staff and also preparing along with his team about 14,000 meals per day. Of course, I'm talking about executive chef, one of the best chefs on the camera cruise line, our chef Paul, all the way from England. Give it to him. has come to an end. We had a great time. Baby did her thing in the night. So with that being said, man, just got back home on the cruise and shit. This is the craziest shit I see. First day back. We got a damn birthday tomorrow, right? So I came to gas up my generator and this is what I see. These motherfuckers having a rock and roll party in the fucking storage area where we store our trucks and shit. Now look, as you can see, this is the storage area where we store our shit. I don't even know if these motherfuckers book storage as a venue. That's crazy. Bet y'all ain't never seen no shit like this. Hey, that boy say right on. I ain't have the right voltage. <laughs> what the? This is fucking stories. They ain't even booked this shit to be out here performing this shit. Like, bro, for fucking cars. They performing for goddamn parked cars and trailers and goddamn RVs. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck are y'all doing? These bitches got bags of ice, cold brew. These boys is not playing. I ain't never seen no shit like that. I know y'all didn't either. I don't know if they mic checking for a show they got coming up. And that's they practice area where they rehearse shit at. What, bro, but, hey, that right there what you call dedication. Like, wherever we can practice and rehearse at, that's what we gonna do. Hey, kudos to them, bro. They mean they passionate about this shit that they do, dog. I'm not mad at them. I was like that once upon a time. I, I was never performing for no motherfucking RVs and cars and shit. Feel me? I was actually performing for people, but that's they crowd right there. And if they can make them cars come alive and RVs come alive and chill for them, well, they good. But, uh, let me finish handling my business, bro. I just had to show y'all that shit, boy. First day back home, and that's what I get. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Back to reality. About to head to our party after returning back from my vacation. So we'll see y'all at the party site. You ready to work, babe? I'm not either. <laughs> we still feeling a wave lag. Yeah, that's it. Gotta put in the work, y'all. So they are how we get out. Time to get back to reality.
We have made it back home from my event in Ocala. Moms don't want to go get me nothing to eat. You feel what? me? I never said that. She want me to go. I don't want to go. Yes, I, I just drove four hours after coming off the cruise. Still shaky. Boy, you are not shaky. Fuck <laughs> out of here. I am, bruh. I'm just like built to not show it. You feel what I'm saying? But. I'm like a brick wall. You know that brick wall that like the three little pigs mm -hmm. built that the wolf can blow down? Mm -mm. I'm that. You feel me? I'm that brick house dog. Like, I never let it show that nothing fades me. You know what I'm saying? You said you was fine. I just told you why. I'm that brick wall that Black. never Cut shows crap, please. that anything can affect Cut it. Cut the crap. When deep within the bricks, need to cut the crap. <laughs> you feel me? But then you need to cut the crap. Now we're going to get this McDonald's or not? <laughs> Bro, I want a home cooked meal. I have a home cooked meal in the week. Yes, you did on the ship. That was but it wasn't cook. from you. It wasn't by your hands. <laughs> it was by stranger hands. So I need wow, my wife's hands a right long now. Long message. Oh my god. Okay, so we finna go get something to eat and that concludes this vlog. And as always, we appreciate y'all fucking with us. Thank you.